July 22nd, he was 100 years old. And he served in the Canadian Army because the U.S. hadn't um, gotten involved yet. He ran off to Canada. He went to Canada just to serve. Just to serve. He's, he was from England originally, and, the, um, and he was in New York, and he knew what was going on and couldn't wait. So he went to Canada. And uh, so he was deployed shortly to uh, Europe. He, yes, he went over in 1940 and served in, back in England, where he met the love of his life. And, and where is she? That's wow, it looks so mint condition. Yeah, like, yeah. Ah, he looks great. What is your name, sir? Pardon? Uh, what is your name? Uh, George Devin. George Devin. Nevin. Nevin. With an N. Right. Do you mind if I Google you? I'm sure. I don't know what you'd find, but what was that? He wants to Google you. Do you know what oh, that means? No. <laughs> <laughs> He's going to look you up on the computer see what he can find. Would you mind if I post this on YouTube? Do you mind? No. No? Okay. And I'll get you the information so that uh, you can find it. Okay. That would be wonderful. So cool. But Mr. Nevin, um, when you served overseas, you served in England for the Canadian forces. What conflicts were you involved in? Uh, well, this was a four D day. Uh, I was uh, in the Diet Raid, uh, uh, the Guinea Pig Raid, prior to the invasion. Uh, prior to the invasion? Okay. And uh, then I was transferred to military headquarters in the field. So I was a dispatch rider. Uh, uh, he rode motorcycles for dispatch. Oh, wow. That's and he amazing. said that the, the enemy would uh, put up wires at night for the dispatch for the the uh, motorcycle, mm -hmm. so they couldn't see them. And they that's what the enemy did. Take out the motorcycle riders. I see. You mentioned D-Day. Where were you on D-Day? I was with the Canadian, with the uh, military headquarters uh, on the south coast. On the south coast? Yeah, on the south coast. I, I didn't, wasn't in the D-Day landing, but I was with them later on. So. Okay. Wow, that's incredible. It, it was quite an experience. I really want to thank you for everything you've done and for your service. Where are you from? Warrington. Okay. And uh, how many uh, grandchildren? Does Mr. Nevin have?